welcome back to my channel. Um, I have not, or oh, actually it doesn't look that dark on camera, although it's very dark in real life. I've not started my vlog in the middle of the night or about to go to bed. The time is oh, 6.20 in the morning and I am at the yard and I'm ready for a dressage training session with Flick. So we train um, for dressage twice a week at 7am um and then the other days we're training with like doing other stuff basically but yes today is a dressage day oh my gosh i look ever so pale and yeah you can tell it's the morning put it that way oh but yes this is the commitment through the winter and i feel like a lot of equestrians will film me right now that time between january and april this is the hardest time now I'm well and truly over winter. I'm over the dark mornings, the dark evenings, the mud, the rain, and we've had a hell of a lot of rain recently. Oh my gosh, please roll on spring. Oh, it's these times now where you have to really just grit your teeth. <laughs> just get through it. Remember why you're doing it. And hopefully all of these hours of training at ungodly hours and everything will pay off. But... Anyway, I need to get up. I need to go and pop the lights on in the school. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. It's actually not as dark in here as it has been uh, previously in the proper depths of winter. Um, but usually in the morning, I'm usually the first here when I'm training at this time. And um, I always come and put the lights on. And usually it's absolutely pitch black. There's no like light in the windows. And when I say, guys, I've got my little torch on my phone and I sprint across this school because it's so scary. <laughs> I sprint across here to do these lights. There we go. Ready for a bit of dressage. It's times like these in winter when I'm very grateful be able to ride in an indoor school. Look how gorgeous the sky is as well this morning. Oh, so pretty. Good morning. <laughs> oh, sleepy head. Oh, you look a bit tired this morning. Are you sleepy? Oh, you've been sleepy, my darling. You ready to do some dancing? Yeah, you've got your dancing shoes on. She's like, no, thanks, mom. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Right, pajamas off. Pajamas off. Oh, you've been lying down. You've been lying down, haven't you? That's better there. A steady hands forwards. Yeah. Woo, steady. Okay, now big canter. Lift up as high as you can to collect it. for breakfast to fill me up and also kind of kick, I'd say kick my sugar cravings in the morning. I am someone that could quite happily wake up in the morning and honestly I could eat a whole bar of chocolate for breakfast. Like I really have a sweet craving in the morning and although I have cut down like the sugar that I have in my tea, like I usually have two sugars in my tea, I've now cut that out. Um, I do get that craving for that bit of a kick in the morning. Starting off, I have my yogurt. So I have the, I have, there's a few different yogurt brands that I use. Sometimes I have a flavored one. Usually it's something like this from M&S. It's the 0% fat Greek style live yogurt. This one, so I have some of that. Let's pop this in my bowl. 
I'm ready to go. Shake. Oh, there we go. Then to kick my kind of, kind of kick my chocolate, well, it's not chocolate I craved, kick that sweet kind of craving. I have this. This isn't sweet, but it does have kind of a chocolate flavour. It kind of tricks my brain. And also for texture. I'm someone that I can't, I can't get up in the morning. I mean, hats off to those people that can get up and have like a smoothie for breakfast. I can't do it. I need to have some sort of crunch, some texture. Or otherwise, I feel like I've just not eaten. I, I don't know what it is, but... I just, I have to have a bit of something. Even if I was just to have a bit of yogurt and fruit, I would crave a crunch, if that makes sense. So I always have to have some sort of granola or something. So with this, I would sometimes have granola um, or I'll have this. So this again from M&S, this is their high protein choco crunch. It's from their plant kitchen range. It's vegan. Um, yeah, it's just... I don't have too much of it, but it's just that perfect thing. If I'm just, if I'm bored of granola, I'll have some of this. And it's just the perfect accompaniment to my yogurt. And then I obviously have my fruit. So I will just have, to be honest, whatever is kicking around, whatever is um, ripe and good to go. Today's a good fruit day. So that's why I thought I'd film my breakfast. <laughs> Some days I'm scraping the barrel on the fruit and it's a few blueberries. But today is a good fruit day. I'm fully stocked up. So I'm going to have a banana, which is my favorite. The banana and the chocolate and the yogurt together. It honestly, it just, it tastes too good to be a healthy breakfast, in my opinion, which I think is the best way, isn't it? I think sometimes when, when it comes to being healthy or trying to eat a balanced diet, when something just feels too much like rabbit food for me, that's when I can get put off a little bit. This is just a lovely, I like, I really look forward to, <laughs> to making this breakfast and that sounds so sad. And I always say the little ends for the puppies, don't I? Yes, you can have those in a minute. I've also got some blueberries. I have just washed this fruit, hence, hence it's in this little dish. So I've got some bloops. This is gonna be a very full breakfast bowl this morning, but I am hungry. I have been up since God knows what time, so my body is ready for some food. And then I've just got a couple of strawberries. Again, it goes really nice with like the chocolate crunch. It's, it's like having strawberries and chocolate for breakfast. It's just absolutely delightful, to be honest. Blinking love it. Ooh, it's gone on my hand. Probably could have just done one strawberry, to be honest. Might, oh, it's out now, I'll cut it up. I'm sure I'll eat it. And then finally, I will just put a little sprinkle of, oh, these always go everywhere. Every time I open this packet, this is a blinking nightmare. I am getting um, a nice little jar to put my chia seeds in. But yeah, I'll pop probably a teaspoon, probably just less, of chia seeds. And then that is my bowl of goodness for the day. So I've got my yogurt, my protein crunch, my fruit and my chia seeds. And now I'm gonna pop up to the bedroom and eat this, not the bedroom, the dressing room to eat this because I am filming today. So I'm gonna eat this, uh, respond to a few emails and then get cracking with my day. It's been a few hours. I've been filming upstairs this morning, um, just trying to finish a couple of bits that had a couple of tight deadlines for me to get done today. But um, we've had a really exciting delivery. So um, we are, as I've mentioned before, I'm actually gonna sit myself down on the stairs. Oh, there we go. As I have mentioned before, we are in the middle of kind of getting this house to where we want it to be, still finding bits and bobs for it, and yeah, just trying to get it feeling more finished. Anyway, I have been looking for a piece of furniture for in the living room for about six months now, and I just haven't been able to find the exact right thing. I had an image, I had a vision, in my mind and I've been trying so desperately to get that exact vision to come to life. 
And finally, I found the piece of furniture that I've been envisioning for so long, ordered and it arrived this morning while I was at the yard. So I'm so excited to show you. I found the most amazing sideboard for in the living room. So let me take you in there now and show you. So, de -de -de. finally, we have a lovely sideboard over here. Let me take you in for a closer look. Obviously, I haven't styled it or popped anything on it yet, but this is it, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's in a lovely light wash on the top there. You can see it's just slightly darker. I feel like it goes with the tones and the colours in this room just perfectly. I was really torn when trying to choose one, whether to go for a really rich dark wood or go for something a little bit lighter. But I just felt like walking into this room, I feel like we've already kind of got the darkness over here with the chair. I didn't want it to all look too matchy matchy, but I wanted it to go. So I decided to go for the lighter option, knowing that I'm going to kind of style it and put things on top of it. So... I can add in some darkness and depth and texture with everything that I style it with. So the sideboard is from um, a company called Cotswold Looks. I found them online. I'll pop a link to this in the description box um, in case you are interested as well. But I actually found out they have a store. I, didn't, I thought they were just an online shop, but they do actually have a store in the Cotswolds in Chipping Camden as well. So I would really love to actually go in store and have a look down there. I'm actually due a little trip down to the Cotswolds in a couple of weeks. So I might put it on the agenda as something for me and Andy to do and pop in there and have a look because I think their store inside would just be so lovely. It looked gorgeous online. So yes, we finally have this furniture. Obviously we've got the two doors in here. So nice to have a little bit more storage oh my gosh guys the smell the smell of like, wood is just beautiful but yeah i'm super super happy with it along with ordering my new sideboard i did also do a little order of some um, new coffee table books because obviously i want to style this up and have it look really nice um and then when i was looking for these books i kind of just had so i started off on amazon and I was looking at, I don't, the kind of generic, popular coffee table books that I feel like a lot of people have in their houses. And I'm not saying that in, like, I'm not slating anyone for that. Because when I first moved into this house, I just bought a load of books that, to be completely honest, I just bought because they look nice and I'm going to stick them on a table and probably never actually open them. And I really didn't want to do that again. And so I went on a bit of a hunt for equestrian themed coffee table books because I don't have any. I've got plenty of sort of practical equestrian books, but none that kind of fit the purpose of going out on display and not only looking nice, but also are actually really nice. And I have actually find interesting to flick through. I've started doing that in the, I'd say the last sort of 12 months, when it comes to books and things, I've been a lot more picky about the things that I'm buying. I think I'm just a lot more picky in this house in general about what I buy. And I've always tried, since moving in here, I've always kind of tried to live by the mantra of, if I love it, I will find a place for it in the house rather than just buying things to look perfect. I want a house full of things I love at the end of the day. And that goes right down to my coffee table books. So, um, I did find, honestly, the most gorgeous, gorgeous coffee table books. If Whether you're interested in equestrian horses or not, I actually think these are just so, so beautiful to have out. If you're looking for something a little bit different, but um, if you are like me and you are interested in that kind of thing, then you'll probably really like these. So I've got three to show you. So the first one is this one, an illustrated history of equestrian sports it's absolutely gorgeous it's got a gorgeous dark spine and this is basically a look back in history from the very first olympic games of just so much history of dressage jumping eventing 
and there's really like amazing photos in here so i just opened the book now and turned to this page 1953 the fei european championships and there's a picture of our late queen handing out a prize to the eventing champion and it's just it's full of just the most amazing like just snippets of history with obviously a sport that i love and yeah i just thought this is just so great like here 1998 and in here you've got all of the results and yeah this for me is just my not even guilty pleasure just my my pleasure like i can't wait till i've got a couple of hours on a sunday afternoon and i've had my roast dinner and i'm sat down with my pudding or a cup of tea and i can just have a flick through here and I just love it. I just think it's so gorgeous. Such a lovely book. Such a good price as well. Um, this was £30 on Amazon. So um, I will, of course, link if you are interested. But a couple of others that I got as well, just on the equestrian theme. This one, the sporting horse. Just absolutely beautiful. I haven't even had a flick through this one yet. It did come in a cellophane. But again, just having a look at horses in sport basically with again just the most incredible images um and yeah again looks really nice on a coffee table and then this one <laughs> andy actually said he really wants to sit down and have a look at this one this one is called stables high design for horse and home imagine you know how a lot of us have coffee table books that are like interiors inspired so they're all pictures of interiors of amazing homes which yes i also have those kind of books these are all amazing unbelievable interiors of stables from across the world and i didn't quite realize how unbelievable like some of these stables would be until i had a flick through oh my gosh honestly just incredible i mean this is one Where's this in the United States, in Connecticut? Just looks so, so beautiful. Some of them are ultra, like, modern. And again, just the photos in here are just gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, look at the inside of that stable. Oh my goodness me. But yeah, it's just... And again, for me, this is just a huge guilty pleasure. I mean, just look at that for a stable just wild so yeah look at the outside of this one in sweden just look at this i mean just imagine getting to keep your horse there just wild anyway i know not everyone will find that interesting but i just thought i'd show you a couple of alternatives and some bits that i bought for styling up on my new sideboard i think i'm going to move the lamp that i've got over here and put it in this corner basically i've either got a lamp or like a vase of like faux greenery and stuff for in this corner i don't know which one's going to go there and have a play and see which one looks best i have styled up the sideboard honestly i am so so pleased with it i think it goes in this room so just oh my gosh i'm so happy with the choice that i made you know how it is sometimes ordering furniture and you just hope it goes because let's be honest ordering furniture this sort of size it's a bit of a faff if you don't then love it and have to send it back i am so so pleased with how this looks i don't actually think i could have found anything more perfect i'm so i'm so happy i really took my time to find the right one because i have very nearly purchased at least three sideboards for in here and i just, so a little niggle inside of me has just said no you, it's not perfect this is perfect. I'm so in love with it. Um, as you can see, I've popped a few things on the top. I really want to find some nice sort of artwork for this corner now. But again, I've been waiting for a sideboard to kind of see what kind of space we've got to work with. But anyway, so sideboard, I'll quickly tell you where everything is from. The lamp I have had, the lamp was actually one of the very first things I bought for the house. Um, it's from a brand called Cowshed Interiors. They do a lot of this style of lamps and vases and things. Very rustic. I went for this kind of... It, it's um, technically like a terracotta colour, but it's very, very pale terracotta. And it looks quite pale on camera. Um, but I just absolutely love it. And yeah, I've been waiting for the perfect spot 
to put it. It's been in the other corner in this room, but it just hasn't looked right. And I think it's absolutely perfect for this spot here. I have popped a couple of my new coffee table books here and a Jo Malone candle. And then here, I actually have this new reed diffuser. This is from um, Seed to Skin Tuscany. And they do um, skincare as well, but they do this. They did this reed diffuser. Honestly, already this room smells like this. It's such a lovely, like refreshing, but I can't explain the fragrance, but it's just beautiful. Bring in a bit of a Tuscan vibe to the living room. And I just think the way it looks goes really nicely. And then um, I popped a little photo here. I'll probably add a few more photos um, now I've got somewhere to put them, I can get a few more printed off, get some nice frames, add them here, have it as a little bit of a bit of a photo gallery spot. So, but for now, I've just popped this one here of me and Flicker. Look at Flicker doing her thing. Oh, she just loves jumping. Um, I do just need to find a nice gold frame though for that because obviously that is the frame that the picture came in, which yeah doesn't quite fit the vibe. So I'm thinking a nice maybe vintage looking brass gold frame and then that will be this area pretty much complete. So in this corner over here this is where I actually took the lamp from. I think you'll agree it definitely does need some light over here otherwise it looks like a bit of a sort of dull dismal corner. Um, I think the plan of action is at the minute I've literally just got my basket with my blanket in here a side table that was actually from the old house that isn't staying but I don't know I don't quite know what to do over here whether to put another lamp or keep the vase I'm not sure I definitely need a new I think I'm going to find a really nice big um, round table to pop in that corner um, so that maybe I can put a couple of things on there maybe then I'll be able to fit maybe a smaller vase on there and a lamp I'm not sure I'm not sure. I don't know what to do at all. Sort of freestanding lamp. I haven't made up my mind yet, but yeah, the minute that corner's a little bit of a, we'll come back to that. But for now, it looks okay. We've I've popped that in the corner, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving how this is looking. Excuse me, sir. Have you got on your chair? I don't know how many times I have to tell you this chair actually isn't for you. <laughs> You are convinced. I bought this chair for you, aren't you? Des is not that interested in it, are you, darling? Hey, Bobblehead. Is this your chocolate chair? <laughs> it's like, it is, Mum. I'm so happy you bought it for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my little silly spaniels. Why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? Calm down. Calm down. I have made it down to London. It is absolutely tipping it down with rain. I don't quite know how my hair has survived the journey. I'm also absolutely desperate for a hair appointment. We're not going to talk about that, but somehow I've still got a slight wave in my hair. So I will take that. But I have just arrived um, to the hotel. We're staying at the Melia White House. Um, I've actually stayed here before. You might remember um, I stayed here when I was with Andy. I'm not sure if it was the Vlogmas. No, not the Vlogmas. Um, from sort of last year, the one prior to that, when we come down to do kind of like the theatre, we stayed here. Um, so yes, I am staying here again. Um, I have come down with Alana and Hannah. Let me put this camera down actually, let me explain properly. There we go. So I have come down with Alana and Hannah. Um, you will have seen them in my vlogs. When would you have seen them? Oh, when we went to the beach and did like the winter getaway with the doggies. Um, when we went to stay at Alana's um, parents' Airbnb in Wales. So lovely. Um, and also at the Katie Loxton event in Vlogmas. Um, so I'm here with Alana and Hannah Adkins. I'm sure some of you guys already follow Hannah on YouTube. Just need to convince Alana to do YouTube now. Um, but anyway, uh, we've come down. So we actually booked this back in um, when we were at the Katie Loxton event. After a couple of wines, we were like, we need to meet up again. Right, let's book something now. So that then we have to do something. Because you know what it's like being an adult when you say, oh, you know, this is so good. Let's do it again. And then nothing ever happens. We were basically having that discussion and we were like, no, let's 
book it now. So that's exactly what we did. We booked something for in the new year to force us to spend time together again. But um, we've obviously spoken a lot since that anyway. So we would have always ended up doing something, but yeah, so tonight, it's kind of a bit of a celebration as well for Hannah's engagement. So we've booked a lovely dinner at the main in Mayfair, which is basically, um, it's obviously a restaurant, but they also do like live jazz, burlesque performers. There's always a bit of a performance while you're eating your dinner. It's a really fun, great atmosphere kind of place. So we go in there and then afterwards, this is why I say it's a bit of a Hannah engagement celebration night. We go in to see Magic Mike. So I'm just so excited for a girly night, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's gonna be lovely. Um, they are here. They are, last time I spoke to them, they were over on Oxford Street. They were just finishing off a little bit of shopping and then they're gonna come here and meet me. We're going to kind of get ready, freshen up and yeah, have a really lovely evening. But before I, start getting ready let me um let me show you the room real quick so as you come in here we've obviously got the bed don't mind all of my stuff i've just thrown down there i love the kind of um cool decor in here it's very quirky um and then around here we have the tv really great mirrors in this hotel there's three full length mirrors so i am not complaining about that and then over here Look how lovely this is. They actually laid out some fruit for me and then within two minutes of me getting to the room I had a knock at the door and there was a lady with some flowers and I was just like, oh my gosh, this is so, so lovely. I had actually bought my own fruit from the Waitrose at the train station because I was so hungry. I thought I need a little something before dinner so I actually grabbed myself a little like strawberry and grapes pot and then I arrived to the room to this so I needn't have bothered oh, but yes I am so looking forward to seeing the girls I'm gonna have a little something to eat now I was working up until I needed to get my train so I didn't actually have time to have any lunch so yeah I'm gonna have a little bite to eat now and then hopefully the girls will be here one thing I did just spot in the bathroom is the lovely rituals hand wash and body lotion does anybody else, when they go to a hotel and they wash their, hand, their hands, have a little sneaky look at what brand the hand wash is? Because I don't know why, I just, I really, I appreciate a good hand wash in a hotel. That might be the most boring sentence that's ever left my mouth. My God. But anyway, just sort of let you know, it's a lovely rituals one here. Okay, I've got you balancing very inconspicuously on, um, where's my brush gone? Oh, no, it's over there. There you go on um, a dry shampoo. So I have redone my makeup. As you can see, I've just gone for a little bit of a slightly darker eye than I usually would. I always feel really strange now doing like dark eyeshadow. When I was younger, I used to love a real dark smoky eye and now, I don't know what it is, I just feel really strange with it, but anyway. Just freshening up my hair, I'm not really doing too much to it. I'm using a bit of the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. Oh, a bit bright there with the light. Just to add a little bit of oomph. And to be honest, I'm just leaving the kind of brushed out waves that were in from earlier. This is one of those um, products where you really have to trust the process. You put it in, spend a couple of minutes looking a bit like Hagrid, <laughs> and then um, and then it works and it's lovely. Right, I'm gonna quickly pop my outfit on, and then I will be good to go. Okay, quick outfit check. I am wearing this two-piece set, this cream um, trouser and kind of like a waistcoat vibe, but it looks like a halter neck from Kukai, I apologise about this light guys, and then I'm wearing some black kitten heels from Zara, and then I am um, wearing a coat, don't worry, because I do not want to freeze to death, didn't really have too much time to do my hair, so it's a little bit of a last minute jobby, but yes, that is my look.
for this evening. You can kind of see a little bit of a better look. Um, yeah, hair isn't looking too great now, but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, I'm just waiting for Hannah and Alana. And then we shall be heading off to the main in Mayfair where we are going for dinner. Sorry girls, you've not actually been, like, I've not said hello to you. Oh, hello. look yeah. here. We've got Alana here. Oh. And we are just arriving. Together. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful in here. Gorgeous. To start, I've had the tuna tartare. Oh my goodness me, this looks incredible. Okay, you're on a blind tasting with over 3,000 champagne. And this one, it was described uh, as the best one. Obviously, they didn't know which type of champagne there was. Uh, so, 10 judges, uh, they mentioned this wine, this, this champagne. Uh, it's 100% Chardonnay from uh, close to Mesnil, uh, from Champagne. And it's lovely. I'm going to do some lovely pairings with your oyster. Hi. All the sea water from the oyster. We're going to put back the oyster. We're going to open our lovely salon. No? We're gonna put some champagne on the oyster, Mara. So, Madame, who would like to try first? Try to swallow the champagne and the oyster all together. <laughs> Alana's first oyster with champagne. Look at that. The champagne's lovely. Swallow. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Thank you, yeah. Madame. Thank you. Do you want to try one? Alana's now buzzing for Magic Mike. Woo! <laughs> Okay, we've just left the main restaurant. The main restaurant? It doesn't sound like a place, does it? Main the main restaurant in Mayfair. Event. The food was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wasn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. The show, so like the show, the atmosphere, the performance, the food, the drinks. Everything. Highly, highly recommend. Great yeah. place. Like, obviously, we're here as like a girly night. Great place for a girls' night, isn't yeah. it? Probably. Girls' night, date night. Basically really, really everything. good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just really good. We were saying it's really rare to find a restaurant that's got really good entertainment, really good atmosphere, and also and good, really food. good food. Yeah. yeah, you usually compromise on one or the other, don't yeah. you? Yeah. But yeah, we really enjoyed it. But now, <laughs> where are we heading to, girls? <laughs> Alex, you can admit this one because you booked it. <laughs> we're going to see Magic Mike. <laughs> We are so excited. <laughs> We're so excited to see a bit of Magic Mike. We've had, um, so Alana actually had her very first oyster Ooh, in the main. So and I have obviously told her they are an aphrodisiac. So basically, Alana's <laughs> going to be 
hopping oh, into <laughs> Magic Mike like a Duracell bunny. <laughs> <laughs> well up for Magic Mike. Oh, Hannah's God. been up for Magic Mike for a few months now. <laughs> She's yeah, ready. Since disclosed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hannah's more than ready for a bit of magical Michael. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. We've had such a lovely night so far, and um, <laughs> it's about to get better. Yeah. <laughs> it is the morning after and I'm feeling relatively fresh although my hair doesn't quite know what to do with itself but I'm feeling um pretty fresh considering um to be fair I didn't actually um I didn't really drink too much um so yeah I didn't want to feel like horrible today but oh my gosh what a fun night the main restaurant in Mayfair such a vibe such a vibe they had um, like a, a band playing. They had a burlesque like dancer. They had a singer who literally sounded like Michael Bublé. He was incredible. Um, but yeah, such a fun vibe, highly recommend. Um, and then obviously we went to go and see Magic Mike, which was just actually hilarious, like so good. Just a really fun girly time to be honest but uh, me, Hannah and Alana have actually been down for breakfast in the hotel and I'm actually about to go out and do a little bit of shopping. I don't know if I'm going to include that footage in this video or make a separate video, I haven't decided yet but um, yeah I'm going to head down. We've had breakfast, we've said our goodbyes and yeah I, am, I think I'm going to go and find somewhere, get a nice drink, the weather is lovely so yeah. I may bring you with me shopping in this vlog, I may not, who knows. Otherwise, I'll probably check in with you um, a bit later. A girl's night in with me and Desi. I'm still not out of the habit. Sorry, Bolly. A girl's night and a Bolly night in. Um, Andy is away um, for a couple of nights with work, so it's just us. And um, I don't really mind that, to be honest. I quite like having a bit of just a bit of me time in the house. It's really nice. I think because me and Andy both mainly work from home um, Andy's probably out for work um, probably one day a week but mainly from home it's really nice to actually um, have some time to myself in the house so I'm having a girl dinner we all know what a girl dinner is minimal effort but great taste that is a girl dinner um, and I'm having uh, well I'm making myself a little Caesar salad. Uh, well, kind of Caesar salad. I know you're not supposed to have tomatoes in there, but these need to be eaten, and I absolutely love tomatoes, so it's kind of a Caesar salad, kind of not a Caesar salad, I don't know. So I actually cooked my chicken and bacon earlier, because I knew once I had got home from the yard with Flicker, I knew I'd be so tired I knew what mood I was in. Future me is now thanking past me for doing this. I even got my little streaky bacon. And I'm just gonna have a really nice chilled night in. Oh, girl dinner, a Caesar with Coke Zero, of course. So with my girl dinner, I am also gonna have a girly film. Sorry, Bolly, you are outnumbered now, officially. 
You don't mind, do you? <laughs> you look so cute. Desi, I know you want your dinner as well. I will give you yours as soon as I've had mine. Just as an FYI, this is the Caesar um, dressing that I use. It's absolutely delish. I've tried a lot of Caesar dressings to try and make the perfect Caesar salad at home. And this is just the best one for me by far. I absolutely love it. This is my non-Caesar Caesar. Oh, croutons. Oh no, I forgot my croutons. Now we have my non-Caesar Caesar. We have, oh my gosh, Parmesan. I forgot Parmesan. What? See, this is what happens when you try to vlog and make your dinner. What a total nightmare I've had trying to just show you <laughs> my dinner. Now the Caesar salad is complete. Just to pop on a little bit of Caesar dressing. And then that's my delicious dinner for the night. Okay guys, girl dinner was a success. So good, but I need to put you onto something because this has just, this is a game changer, okay? This is serious, serious stuff. I um, I've got a little treat for me for after dinner, obviously. Um, just some mini eggs. But I saw a TikTok the other day where a girl said to put your mini eggs in the microwave for a minute and then eat them. And oh my gosh, it's little chocolatey explosions because all of the chocolate obviously has melted on the inside. Guys, it's my new favourite thing. It is so good. You just can't get better. If you take anything away from this vlog, just try that and then come back to me and tell me because, oh, that is just too good. Anyway, I am now going to have, oh, a nice little chill on the sofa in here. Bolly, did you have to, does anyone else's dogs burp, by the way? <laughs> Whenever Bolly finishes his, like a meal, he'll come and, proudly tell you he's finished and he will do the biggest burp but he burps all the time that's very rude don't come and burp in my face um sorry if you did hear him burp i'm having a nice chill now on the sofa mini eggs love is blind doggies are well desi's finishing a dinner and yeah just a nice chilled one